Are you keeping We're on? engaged. Hello everybody. <laughs> Again, same as always, I forgot to vlog. Stream my song. Oops. Ah! Okay, give me one second. Sorry, I just posted um, about my song on, um, on Instagram. Okay, I didn't vlog again this weekend. I had a four-day weekend because it was MEA break and something very exciting happened this weekend. Um, I got engaged. Do you see this ring? It is beautiful. I love it. I haven't, it's an emerald because green's my favorite color. Literally, who can tell me to shut up? But also stream my song. Anyway, I got an emerald. It is just, it's so perfect. My hands are disgusting. Sorry, I work with kids, so I wash them all the time. Um, but look at how beautiful. I'll put a picture in because I feel like this is like having trouble focusing on it. But I always knew I don't love diamonds for myself, like just regular diamonds, so I wanted a emerald and I am obsessed with the ring. It's so beautiful. I'll post some pictures on here um, of when, of the proposal because, so the one thing I always told Cody is that I wanted someone to be there to take pictures when we got engaged because I just feel like it happened so quickly and you know, I mean, iPhone photos are fine, but I just really wanted someone to capture the moment, and our really good friend Jillian did that for us because Cody's great and hired her to do it. Um, I'll put her information down below. She's amazing. She is my favorite photographer. Um, we always go to her for all the pictures we need. So we hired her, and the whole... I'll just go into the proposal story a little bit but the whole time he kept telling me we're going to the Mall of America that day and I'm like why are we going to the Mall of America I'm like what why would we go to the Mall of America we never go to the Mall of America it didn't make any sense when we started driving we were not going the right way to the Mall of America and I was like uh confused so I asked him I was like why aren't we taking the right way to the Mall of America and he's like um we can take this way too and I was like I don't think so and then we started going towards where our old house was and he was about to take the exit and I was like, what if he's bringing me back to the place? He asked me to be his girlfriend. Of course he was. Like, it was so perfect. It was perfect. Um, and so there's this trail behind our old house that we used to live in and it is where he asked me to be his girlfriend and that is also where he asked me to be his wife so it was so pretty because um there's a ton of leaves and trees around that area so 
the pictures are just gorgeous and it was so pretty out. It did rain a little bit that morning, so we had to stop and buy an umbrella on the way. Our photographer did get chased by some uh, coyotes before we got there, so she had to text Cody quick and let him know that he needed to propose a little earlier. And then afterwards, we went on a walk to um, just go look at our old house and a coyote started walking right towards us and so we had to turn around and leave because I was not going to get attacked by a coyote. So, but yeah, we're very excited and I am very excited to share that with all of you. So, that was the biggest announcement I had. And then we went to two concerts this week. We went to the Belmont concert, which was really good at the garage. Uh, they're like a pop punk band or... <sighs> I don't really know. They don't really fit in the category, but they're really good. to see um alpha wolf knocked loose that's who we went to see but also after the burial and motionless and white were there and that was a really fun concert as well Cody's sister and her boyfriend and we went on some rides because we wanted to get there one more time before the season was over and what else yesterday oh yesterday I started making our Halloween costume I had to spray paint some shoes that's as much of a hint as you're getting because it's a surprise I don't want anyone to know yet so I had to spray paint some shoes and that was a task and I also, oh, we watched some new movies. So we watched some new movies. What did we watch? On on Thursday, I watched Double Double Toil and Trouble. That is a Mary-Kate and Ashley old movie. I'd never seen it. I loved Mary-Kate and Ashley as a kid, but never watched that one for some reason. It was so good, actually. I can't believe I didn't watch it as a kid. Um, and then 
we watched Halloween Town. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We also on Wednesday went to the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, which is this event at the Minnesota Zoo where there's thousands of carved pumpkins and they're like so intricately carved and so beautiful and you walk through and they're all lit up and it's just like a really it's like in the woods kind of and they're all just placed everywhere and it's really pretty um so we went there I'll put in some video clips of that we also got this like fancy campfire lot or campfire hot chocolate and it like we thought it was a good idea at the time but there was just like a glob of marshmallow on top and I couldn't get through it and it was just too much for me so the jack-o-lantern spectacular was beautiful and the the theme was the four seasons so it like went through Minnesota month by month and like each pumpkin for each month was carved with things that had to do with that month in Minnesota so it was kind of cool and it was really pretty obviously anyway going back to the movies now I'm all over the place this vlog makes no sense but we also watched The Haunting Hour, classic, love that movie. Halloween Town on Wednesday, another classic, uh, which I never watched as a kid. I don't know why. <laughs> and then we watched Monster House this weekend, classic, love that one. We literally always used to watch that as a kid. As kids, whatever. We watched The Shining. I've never seen that movie. It was actually, like, pretty creepy. Like, for that being made in the 1980s, that had to have been, like, the creepiest movie back then. Like, it freaked me out a bit, but it was really good. I would definitely watch it again. Um, so now I know what all the hype is about when people talk about how good The Shining is. It really is good. I can't believe I've never seen it, but yeah, it was pretty creepy. And we watched Scream 6 yesterday. We've seen that one before. Tonight we're watching Beetlejuice, and I'm gonna make pretzels, cider pretzels, cheeseburger soup, and some pies for dessert shaped like different Halloween things. Um, yeah, did we watch any other movie? What do I feel like we did? And I'm forgetting one more. Maybe we didn't. Well, oh, we watched the movie Nope. It was weird. Like, I don't really know what to think of that movie. Like, I don't really know if I fully understand it. It was definitely, like, unsettling and weird. Not necessarily, like, scary, but it was just, like, weird. And I still feel like I don't fully understand it, but it was... It's a weird movie. I didn't hate it, though, so... Yeah. Anyway, I gotta get going. So, I need... I'm going to do a little workout and then I'm going to uh, make the pies so they're ready after dinner and then I'm gonna finish the pretzels and the soup and I'll show you that when I'm done and then that will be the end of this vlog. Um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So last night I tried to make pretzels, like homemade soft pretzels. Didn't work so good, but we still ate what we could of them. And I made a cheeseburger soup and it was delicious. And we watched Beetlejuice, so. Had a good night. Now it's the next day. And I'm ending off the vlog now, so. Oh shoot, my camera's battery's gonna die. Wanna mm -hmm. tell them the news? Dang dude, I don't even know what to say. Oh God, bro. Shit, you say it. Wait, are you keeping We're on? engaged. I already told them earlier. Oh, I <laughs> And now the battery's- Oh, on go, bro. Yeah. And with that being said,